This is the third of four examples of implementing iterations with the while loop. This is the example uh, where we're given a vector of letter grades and we have to return a vector of quality points that are um, representative of the, of the letter grades in the, in the given vector. So this one gets out of long, so hopefully I'll have enough vertical space here to do this. Uh, once again, I'm going to show this uh, for the for loop so that we can compare it with the while loop. So the for loop is just a duplication of the video I'm going to before. Keep in mind, I'm doing this using indexing on the for loop side. The indexing style instead of the direct access, I'm using the indexing style on the for loop side because that's what we're forced to use on the while loop side. So um, let's start. As you recall, I have a vector called grades and A, B, C, D, and F. And my results vector is going to be Q points, which starts off as empty. I do my for loop for x equals one the length of grades and then I'm going to uh, in this case we did a switch and we're going to switch on grades index at x using our indexing method or style case a and there are a couple of ways as we talked about in class doing this um, I'm going to do it this way I'm going to say uh, case a this QP because this is how I did the example before equals 4 case B this QP equals 3 case C this QP equals 2 case D this QP equals 1 and case F this QP equals 0 and then I end my switch statement then I say Q points equals and I build my result vector by this concatenation method we've talked about equals Q points this QP. I could have done this in every step but I chose to do it this way as we talked about um, in class and then I end and then I display Q points so that's that's what we've done before um, it got a little small there because this is a long one, but we've done this middle part here before. Um, the part I'm concentrating on is how we're converting this for loop into a while loop over here. So let's do that. Um, let me erase up here, give myself a little bit more space. While loop. Um, so this part's the same. Grades equals A, B, C, D, F. Uh, Q points equals this. Now before we end our iteration, let's note it again with the while loop we have to initialize, inspect, and increment. Okay, So we have to initialize our loop variable which is x equals, we're going to start off with x equaling 1 so that takes care of initializing. Then we're going to set up our while loop and we're going to check to see that x is less than or equal to the length of grades. Okay, So this is our inspection that we'll do every time through the while loop. Next, um, 
we'll start our, our switch statement as we did before and we'll switch on grades indexed at x that's our indexing method and then we do our case once again uh, as I said in the last video this is a good time to uh, try your implementation and then um, and then come back to see what I've completed uh, equals four case B SQP equals three case C SQP equals two case D this QP equals one case F this QP equals zero and then I come down here and I end my switch statement now here's the difference now I must do my incrementing so I've got to put an extra line of code in here x equals x plus one and that handles my incrementing and then now I can end my while loop oh excuse me I can't do it in my while loop sorry about that what I like to do is I have to come back and do my Q points I have to add to my um, my results vector now once all that gets done which mirrors what I did over here on the four side once all that gets done then I come back and do my incrementing of my loop variable and then I end my while loop and then I display Q points as I did over here so go through once again for loop over here all that's done for you in the while loop over here this is my incrementing did it again this is my initialization this is my inspection and this is my increment initialization inspection and increment okay um, so once again just for completeness I'll go through this loop um, so we start off we got grades equal to that our output vector q points is equal to the empty vector um, x starts off as one x equals one we check here length of grades once again is five okay so we start off with that um, we switch on grades indexed at x which in this case is x equals one so it's a we find out qp equals four we come down here q points equals the empty vector concatenate it with four so q points is now the vector four um, we increment in our increment stage here and now x equals two we go back up to the top um, x passes this test because two is less than five we index grades at two so now we're looking at b that gives us this qp equals three we come down to the end of our switch now we do our um, concatenation so now q points gets what it used to be which is four concatenated with um, with three okay. uh, so now q points is four three um, x gets incremented again get three go back up to the top three is less than five so you go through again you pass this test it's true you go through again now you're switching on grades index at three which is c we find out this qp equals two we concatenate that onto the end so now q points is equal to vector four three two x is equal to x plus one so x gets incremented again x is now four you pass this test because four is less than five grades indexed at four is is d d comes down here this QP equals one it gets concatenated onto the end so now it is the vector four three two and one x gets incremented so now x is equal to five you come back up to the top of the loop once again um, is five less than or equal to five yes it is switch grades indexed at five that's f f the switch statement evaluates to zero because uh, the case f this QP is zero so now that zero gets concatenated onto the end of q points and so now q points is four three two one zero and so now you increment x again x is now six you come up here 
6 is not less than or equal to 5 so you fall out of that of the while loop and you come down you exit the while loop and you come down here and you display cue points so in the command window 4 3 2 1 0 gets displayed and that's how you go through it um, I got one more example uh, it's, the, it's, it's the maximum example um, same thing I just do this uh, to to give you a chance to let it really sink in. Once again, the for loop over here translates over here uh, to the initializing, inspecting, and incrementing uh, parts of the while. Again, this is the third example of the while loop. Uh, we're going to be uh, creating a vector of quality points after being given a vector of letter grades. And so, set it up just as before with the slate, clearing all variables, and clearing the command window. Um, and then let's make comment. We're going to do quality points uh, using the while loop. So, it starts off just the same. Vector G of grades, grade A, grade B, C, D, and F. Okay. Um, and then we set up two points to be our result vector that's going to accumulate our values as we go through. Okay. Now, once again, we have our initializing. We have our inspecting and our incrementing that we have to worry about. So let's initialize um, our loop variable x again to 1. Set up a while loop and do our inspection as long as x is less than or equal to the length of vector g. Then execute this loop. Then we come down and implement the switch statement, which I don't usually copy paste, but I'm going to here in the interest of time because we've done this several times before. So let's do a copy paste. There's our switch statement. Now, um, and also let's do the assignment of our quality points. Points. So this is the accumulation. Get capitalized. It. Points equals the vector Q points. Concatenated with this QP. And we talked about and discussed this in class, how you accumulate the vector this way. So, uh, so all of this block here, the switch and the Q points, is identical to the switch and the Q points over in the for loop. Now what we have to do once we've reached, we've done our work. So this represents the work portion of our, uh, of our, of our code block inside of our while statement. Now that we've done that, we're going to do our incrementing. So we'll do the incrementing portion here. X equals X plus 1. A little bit more space down here. So now we're ready. Now that we've done the incrementing, we can end our while loop. And then we can display... Uh, our vector two points as we did before. Okay. All right. So once again, we initialized, we inspected, and we incremented. The rest of this looks uh, exactly like I could have cut, copy paste all that right over into here. So that part of the implementation is the same. Uh, but the contrast is you must do the incrementing, excuse me, the initializing, the inspecting, and the incrementing uh, yourself. So, uh, okay. Um, so we'll save this. I'll put in the rate points. So we can once again see this at work here. Finish executing the last piece of code. Okay. Um, all right, let's 
put the breakpoints back in. Execute. All right, let's watch our variables here. G gets the vector A, B, C, D, F, which we expected. X, uh, Q points gets the empty vector. And X, our, our loop variable, gets uh, 1. We go through, yes, 1 is less than the length of G because the length of G is 5. We do our switch based on G indexed at 1. And so we jump down to 11, to line 11 where the case is A. This Q points equals 4. We skip to line 22, and we concatenate that forward onto our result vector Q points. So all that's happening over here in the workspace. Um, I increment on line 24. Our X gets incremented to 2. We're back at the top. 2 is less than the length of G. So now we're in the switch statement. We're switching now on G indexed to 2, which is B. So we look at case A. We skip out of that. We go down to line 13, case B. Um, this QP equals 3, line 22, 3 gets concatenated onto our result vector Q points. And so you see now our result vector is 4, 3. On line 24, we increment X. So now X is 3. We're back to the top of the loop. 3 is less than 5. In other words, 3 is less than the length of, of G. So now we switch on G indexed at 3, because X is 3, um, which is C. So we don't do the first case, don't do the second case. We get down to line 15, we do that case. This QP now equals 2. 2 gets concatenated onto Q points. So now you see over here Q points equals 4, 3, 2. And then X now gets incremented by 1. So X is now 4. Back to the top of the loop, we pass the test. 4 is less than the length of G, which is 5. We switch on G indexed at 4, which is D. So we, we don't do case A, we don't do case B. No do case C, we do line 17, case D. This QP equals 1. Line 22, 1 gets concatenated onto present value of QP, so now QP equals 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, X now gets incremented. Uh, now it is 5. Back to the top of the loop. Is 5 less than or equal to the length of G? Yes, 5 is less than or equal to 5. We switch now on G indexed at 5, which is F. So we don't do case A, we don't do case B. We don't do the case on line 15, which is C. We don't do the case on line 17, but we do do the case on line 19 because case is F. So this Q points equals 0. We go down line 22. Q points gets um, concatenated. Or excuse me, this Q point, this QP gets concatenated to Q points. So now 0 gets concatenated to the vector 4, 3, 2, 1, and you get 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 here. Um, now, on line 24, x gets incremented by 1, so x is now 6. You go back to the top of the loop. Is 6 less than or equal to the length of g, which is 5? No, it's not. So now you, get, you come out of that loop, and you jump all the way down to line 26, which now you display q points. And so when that's executed, um, q points gets displayed in the command window, and you see the vector 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 as expected. And then you exit out the code. So that's the Q points example. Um, once again, you have to initialize, you have to inspect, and you have to increment. Uh, the next example we'll do is max values.